Hi folks, hope you're all good. Just a quick video on an ethical issue that's been on my mind a lot recently. So basically, I've been on a bit of an ethical journey with this and it's been, well, a bit of an ethical crisis, I could say, for myself. Uh, so let me explain what I'm, what I'm talking about. Basically, I've come to the belief that the some potential suffering in the future should make us abandon what is normally called human progress, so he, like technological advances. So what I'm talking about in particular is at some point we can we'll probably have artificial intelligence and advanced technology and advanced physics and engineering and so on. And what could happen is somebody could inflict a large amount of suffering on a conscious being or a bunch of conscious beings. So the most likely way that could happen is somebody just creates a bunch of AIs in a computer and gives them a horrible life in some way, which uh, is um, unpleasant for them in some way, like they're in constant pain or something like that. It could be large numbers of them experiencing that. And as technological advancement proceeds, that will become easier and easier to do. There are other ways that immense suffering could be caused. For example, if we somehow find a way to create a, a being that exists forever, like if by some sort of physics type way of doing that. Like I remember an episode of Star Trek in the 1960s where somebody ended up being, I think the quote was trapped trapped for eternity with a madman at his throat so he was like stuck in some in this this ufo or something this in this flying saucer kind of thing and with this mad version of himself fighting him or something so it's quite an early memory of mine that episode so it could be some weirder more science fiction way of doing this but it all happening on some sort of computer is is the most likely so why do I think this is significant and a psychological stroke ethical crisis for me? Well, it comes down to my evaluation of positive and negative value. So I think we can all agree, or, well, some might not, but I certainly think that this scenario I'm spelling out is of huge negative value. I suppose some people might not regard artificial intelligences as counting towards ethical value. For me it's uh, it is of huge negative value and what positive value could we create which offsets this value and that's where my thinking is that kind of no no amount of good life in any way could really have offset this so how can life be good well it can be good in terms of pleasure it can also be good in terms of achievements and finding out solving the mysteries of life and creating original art and so on. I'm just uh, talking about my own views about what creates value. Obviously you can have your own view and yeah so my views are in this are always being I'm always reconsidering these things because I'm not sure exactly what value I put on these things but ultimately I feel that you can't really make these positive values infinite. So if somebody was trapped in a machine experiencing pleasure forever, for me that doesn't keep counting towards positive value after a certain point because 
I just feel that's not the stuff of, of positive value. There's no, um, there's no great reason to carry on living if you're experiencing just constant pleasure, but in, a, in, a, in the same sort of way. So my feeling is that basically your pleasure has got to take a certain form, and there is a, there's only cert, there isn't only certainly a certain amount of like configurations of the world. So in the end, you're going to end up sort of repeating yourself, and the, the same same with art. You're going to eventually create the same thing again and you're going to run out of things you can create and also with okay with discoveries like the unified law of physics or whatever these things have i'm happy to put a positive value on on things like that and that, that they're worth some suffering that somebody discovers these things but how much value should we really put on it I mean, for example, I know something about Isaac Newton's discoveries and I know about Einstein's discoveries in general. I don't understand them. How much value does that give me? It's not a huge amount of value, really. It's, a, it's I don't value it that high. It's better that I know these things than, I, than that I don't know them, but... How much suffering should should happen for for the sake of that? I wouldn't attach that much value to it. It's tempting to think of the world as a kind of computer game where we're all stuck in it and we're to complete the game we have to work out what's really going on. So we have to work out the the laws of the physical world and so on. But I don't think it should really be seen like that. And uh, also, uh, my view of of science is that ultimately these things will come down to brute facts. Eventually, we'll 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 just find out. Okay, the world is a certain way, but there will be no further answers, and actually, we won't be able to find a further reason for those. The world being that way. The world would just, it just will be that it is, because you can't have an endless bunch of reasons for things. So eventually you come up, come up against a brute fact, which is not going to be particularly satisfying. So, unfortunately, the reason this is a bit of a crisis is it really just undermines all my positivity about the future and. I'm quite naturally a bit of a like positive about technology and about human race carrying on for certain. But this this does lead me to think that I should be anti-human and wanting the human race to end. So worst case scenario, I'm I'm the 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 person I'm the fiend who like presses the nuclear button to destroy the world. And. I'm obviously ethically kind of confused about that because I feel I don't really want to cross the line to sort of killing people or or if I, I guess I'd kill one person to help a larger number of people. I follow utilitarianism, as you might guess from all the, the way I've been talking about suffering and things in this video. So, yes, yeah, some suffering might be justified for the sake for the, the greater good in my mind, but ending humanity, that is pretty, pretty bad. So I'm not, if I had the new, if I had like end the world button in front of me right now, I wouldn't press it. You'd be pleased to hear. But I can I kind of see the argument here for, for pressing it to stop the, this potential greater suffering in the future. So another thing that's a bit depressing about this, my thoughts, is that it's just so incredibly unpopular to to be anti anti tech, advancing technology and anti having children, which I guess follows from this as well. There are people out there who are anti technology, and I guess I might 
get involved with these people. There's also an anti-natalist movement against having children. I guess this is, that's, I can kind of see where they're coming from now, those people. But it's all incredibly unpopular. It's basically, it's kind of counter human nature really to want to not want to better ourselves. So one last argument I've thought of against what I'm thinking is that if in future we have artificial intelligence that's greatly more intelligent than we are now, then we're going to be like ants to them in terms of our intellect. So why am I, why should we close down the possibility of that future based on our conception of ethics now? When we get to that point, we'll be so much more intelligent that maybe we should postpone this choice to then, which would obviously entail continuing as a species and continuing to advance technology. Whether that, in my mind, that doesn't really cancel out the other stuff I'm thinking here, but it's a, it's a point I thought I'd put in. Anyway, folks, I hope you found that interesting, and uh, I wish you all the best.